and cigarettes That's all I really need That smoky chocolate Satisfies me All packed with nicotine It's how I wanna be Snickers and cigarettes I love the way Thinking about what we were trying to do musically, uh, you know, which is something different, something that isn't uh, isn't your average kind of, you know. He oh. called me one day and I, he goes, "I got it, man, Uncle Charlie," and I just said, "Wow, that's freaking what's up." But it is it is slang for curveball. What's and, interesting uh, is it's become a more of a, a, a more of a character now. We always picture him as an old southern guy too, like on the porch, kind White of in a rocking chair, best. you know, that scotch and a cigar, yeah. and telling you stories, you know. But I mean, he's really, you know, he's kind of whoever you want him to be. Just take me down. They're an intelligent, educated crowd for the most part, in terms of just being sophisticated. The music is fun, and there are people who still want to have a good time, but it's not shallow, you know? There's some substance to it as well. So. Well, you know, what I found mostly with our music, too, is that uh, um, very accessible to a very, very wide audience. Don't taste the secret. First of all, the Uncle Charlie audience have now become nieces and nephews. Well, that's what we call yeah. them. If, if you, once you hear us, you're one of our nieces or nephews. That's just what it is. And it's down to bass, guitar, and drums, and we all sing, so it becomes a three-part harmony. A band that you know you're going to put on at the barbecue, and you're going to just you're going to have a good time. You're going to listen to the beach. We want people humming and singing our songs all the time, and they do. Song that I wrote from a just from an experience. <laughs> a, a woman, basically, you know, a girl. Don't they all come from there? moment and I realized that she was really kind of putting a lot on the line to help me out and I thought you know at the end of the day of course it wasn't true no. but at the end of the day <laughs> um, if anybody uh, was gonna be there if the things I really wanted in music didn't come 
and she would be there, and she would be there to, to comfort me. And I thought, well, I'm going to write a song from her perspective. And mend a broken heart. Probably easily do um, about, about about thirty yeah. original tunes. Let's do this part two. Andrew's been working on a lot of these as a solo artist for many years. Oh, they're fabulous! We've been doing it for years. We've been we've been following this for a long time. Easy, quick answer is a surf song. Surf song. Wow. Straight up. covers we do we take a song uh, ice cream man it's an old uh, Van Halen oh, tune which I think was an old standard they 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 covered it's themselves an old I'm Greg Markles with Uncle Charlie. And what, what do you play? I'm a drummer and a vocalist. I'm Andrew Kelsey, guitar player, vocalist, and I guess principal songwriter for Uncle Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, Khalil Sabah is our bass player. We call him the perpetually uh, auditioning <laughs> bass player. He's been auditioning for this gig for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you like playing the bass? Uh, yes. You make me a hot lunch. So when you hear something like Sha La La, that really comes out of, you know, a lot of stuff in that song is, you know, us having fun, us having fun and joking, yeah. and there's yeah. some person, there's some personal some, jokes in there. Some inside jokes. There's an inside the jokes, songs, and it and are it, usually not yeah. palatable to the general audience. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Strawberry, and I'm allergic to strawberry.
จ้าอีกว่า